Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and we have a bunch of new knives to check out for the first time. The first one is starting out, it is from Outdoor Edge, and it is the Razor VX. So this is a replacement blade knife, so you can pick different blade shapes, and it's super easy to do. And like I said, Outdoor Edge is where it's from. I will have everything linked down in the description. But what's really cool is how easy this blade is, and you can see how thin the blade is. So it's on a modern folding liner lock knife with flipping action. This one has green micarta, this one has black G10, and in order to, to take out the blade, all you do is just push that button, push that button, pull it out, bam, that easy. Um, and to put it back, obviously it's just as easy. You can see the, the little shelf in there so you can fit it right in there and then just push the button, lock it in, secure it, and it's good to go. So it allows you to always have a sharp edge. And like I said, it comes, you can get different blade shapes, you can get utility blades, drop point blades, um, and, you know, they they are very, very sharp out of the box. These are very low angle edges, almost like a razor blade would be. So you're gonna have extreme cutting performance. Um, the edge retention, you know, it's 420 um, steel. So, you know, it's gonna be okay. It, it, it's, um, you know, it's a good uh, replacement blade steel. It's not, you know, a high, high end steel or high performance steel, but the point is, is for you to replace them. So. You don't have to resharpen them. Not that you couldn't try. Um, it does have a deep carry reversible clip. You can see it's got steel liners. Um, the access to the lock bar is really good. It is very smooth. The action's really good. Um, they got a lot going for them. They're, they're actually really cool. This would be a fantastic beater knife. Now, as far as use goes, when you're cutting, when you're slicing, you know, the one cool thing is they put a, a, a like a chamfered edge on the side right here. So it does help the material kind of ramp up and over it when you're slicing. So slicing isn't too bad, but it is still an edge right there. So you will get a little bit of, um, of drawback from that when slicing. As far as utility cuts go, you know, that's gonna be just insanely good because you know, they have the utility blades, especially if you use the, the utility blades. Uh, but this would be a great hunting knife, a great carpentry knife, a great work knife, great everything knife. Um, you know, it's just a, a fantastic beater. And you, when you have to cut things on surfaces and certain things that just destroy an edge, not a big deal, just replace it. And if you stropped it, you could probably keep it going for quite a long time. But, you know, like I said, th these things do work really well and they are like a modern folding knife just with replaceable blades. Now, negatives, let's talk about some quick negatives. Um, I really only have one real one and that is it has detent lash. Um, I did talk to them about that. They said they're gonna, you know, try to, uh, you know, as time goes on, they're gonna try to improve and tighten everything up just a little bit. Uh, but I do have decent detent lash in both of them. So other than that, I really, you know, everything else is pretty good. The lock seems, you know, fairly strong. I wouldn't say go batoning with it, but that's not what it's for. Um, you know, I don't feel myself hitting the button by accident or anything like that. It's comfortable in the hand. It's a great size. You know, it, it's, yeah, it's a perfect size. This is the size knife that most people want. You can tell it's on ball bearings. So really, really cool. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description if you want to check out everything else, you know, that they have and, you know, the options and stuff. So the next one is from Devo Knives and it is the Devo Pin. No, I'm just joking. It's the nip. <laughs> <laughs> so it does come in different versions. I believe the full titanium ones are going to be White Mountain Knives exclusive, if I remember correctly. I think that's what he said, something like that. Uh, these ones will be uh, available on their site. They have the, the plain carbon fiber. You know, I'll just let you read this right here. So they have the purple, which is the one I have right here. Uh, the black pearl camel carbon fiber. And then the white, yeah, white Mountain Knives exclusive, which is the stonewashed tie with blue accents, and then the DLC tie. These are done, I believe, by Kubi. Does it say right here? I think it's done by Kubi, um, which is cool. They've been, they've been doing a lot of stuff with Kubi. Kubi does a great job. Something else that's really cool is they are using S90V steel, which is absolutely incredible. That is an absolute beast mode steel. Uh, one of 
the best pocket knife steels you can have on your premium folding knife. Um, arguably, some people would even see the, say the best in some cases. It has incredible edge retention, outstanding edge retention, like just a powerhouse. It's like it, it holds an edge forever. Now, it also is a stainless, so you're getting high performance edge retention without sacrificing, you know, it being a non-stainless. So it is a stainless steel still. And I personally prefer a medium grit edge on there. Now you can put a fine edge on there. It will take a polished edge, but it holds a toothier edge better and longer. And it just seems like, man, it just holds an edge for so, so long, especially with a properly sharpened edge. So shout out to Devo for using you know, such a premium steel on, you know, this little compact guy. Deep hollow ground blade, very thin behind the edge. Love that satin finish. The size is a fantastic size for little knives. It, you can get a full four finger grip. So this is a, a compact little utility blade that you can also, you know, do some significant slicing with if you needed to. Uh, you know, it's got great access to the lock bar. You guys know I love that. Um, Great reverse flicking action, fantastic flipping action, nice jimping on the flipper tab, nice comfortable uh, flipper tab. You can slow roll it. Uh, the reverse flick, it lands in, it's a small knife, but you know, it lands in a good spot. So really, really cool. Uh, you can easily do the thumb flick. Then you have the jimping halfway up the spine. You can see the little chamfers on the edge of the blade. All these little details definitely add to the characteristics of the knife. Good sharp control and plunge grind. They did move it back a little bit, so you have plenty of life to sharpen off. Because there's um, the flipper tab is a minimal flipper tab, when you open it, it's not in the way. So, you know, that's really cool. I like that. Uh, this purple camo carbon fiber is beautiful. This stuff is just gorgeous, especially with the purple accents. I love this micro milling on the edge. My goodness, that looks cool in, in carbon fiber. Yeah, they did a good job with this. This is really, really good. Um, this edge, man, look at that. Look at that micro milling. They did a killer job with that. Holy cow, that looks beautiful. But as far as nitpicks go, hmm, it's T8 hardware all the way around. I really only have one nitpick, um, and that's the clip. The clip is, it's a little tight on the way out. On the way in, it's fine, but on the way out, I, at least with what I was wearing at the time when I was testing it, it kind of felt like it grabbed a little bit. Not that, you know, it was super bad, but you know, it's a nitpick, right? So um, I'd like the clip to be just a tiny bit smoother. It's a small clip. It's so difficult to do a high quality clip that's a titanium mill pocket clip at this size. It's just, it is difficult. So it's something I'm actually willing to excuse understanding that, but you know, it, it's still a tiny nitpick, perfect centering, but all in all, man, super awesome. Very impressive, very impressive uh, from Devo Knives. Now the next one, the next one is the QSP Canary Folding Knife. Now you guys might remember the Canary Neck Knife. Kara absolutely loves this thing. Now we have it in a folding knife design. This is a really cool little fixed blade, by the way. Um, little cool neck knife. The chain um, and the, the sheath are really good quality. The spine is like got the spiraled um, thing to it. This one's in denim micarta, but there is other versions. So you can see it's got the same whole pattern, but this is quite a bit bigger as you've seen just already. So if you already have this one, you can see it is quite, <laughs> it is quite a bit bigger, but that's actually really cool because, you know, being a folding pocket knife, I think it's a perfect size. You know, the, the neck knife is a small knife. You know, it's very small and compact. Great thumb stud action. Um, they are removable thumb studs as well. Great texturing, fantastic detent. Um, good access to the lock bar, nice and smooth on the drop. Not false shut, but I wouldn't expect it to be. You can tell it's riding on bearings. Very, very smooth, nice slow roll. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I like this. What steel is this? Um, I don't see the steel. Let me see. The steel is 14C, sorry, 14C 28N. Very cool, very happy to see that. Deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws and reversible. That's also really cool. Steel liners on both sides. You can actually see the steel liners looking through here because of the liner lock. Uh, 
But yeah, man, this one's pretty cool. I like this. Um, it, it's it's a, a good size. I can get a full four finger grip, even though it is, you know, compact. I can definitely bear down on it. It's slim, it's sleek, it's very slicey. Uh, fantastic blade shape. This is a very useful blade shape. Um, and this, like I said, this is a size for most people. This is what most people carry as a pocket knife is, you know, something this size. And uh, this could be a little workhorse. So very, very cool. Nitpicks, um, I only do sharpen and and plunge grind. That's about it. Sharpen and and plunge grind, it could be moved back so I could sharpen more out of it. I know it's an affordable knife, so, you know, it's not a deal breaker or anything, but, you know, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if you had more sharpenings, especially on a black blade like this, because if you do hit that plunge, it's going to show. You will see it, and, um, you know, you don't want to do that. So, but other than that, that's really all I got, you know? Everything else is just... You know, done extremely, extremely well. Lock up, rock solid, very smooth action, nice and centered, uh, very slim. Uh, stop pin's a decent size for the size of the knife. Um, I'm not a fan of stop pins being right here, but it is tucked back farther, so it's not like right there. So you still do have enough room to, to cut in a choil for the most part, as long as you don't move too far back. So anyways, very, very cool. That was the... QSP Canary. Next is the new Vosteed Raccoon with aluminum scales. So this definitely takes it up a notch. When you add aluminum scales onto something, it tends to feel a lot more premium. So this is basically stepping into a, a near titanium category. Not saying it is titanium, but it has the feeling of being titanium. Um, while being very, very lightweight because titanium is much heavier than aluminum. Beautiful spear point blade, very slicey, perfect sharpening tool and plunge grind. I love this taper right there. You can get it nice and tight to the edge. This platform right here is just perfectly comfortable. Um, you can turn it around and cut straps, utility cuts, reverse gas station, knife fighting grip. They're all good. This is a solid user. I've featured it on the channel many, many, many times. There's lots of different versions. Uh, this is the, the first time I've tried the aluminum one, but I have micarta ones, you have crossbar lock ones, you have button lock ones. Um, they even recently did a sheep's foot one. So lots of options with the raccoon. This one happens to be a nitro V. Most of the other ones I think I have are 14C. So that's really cool. I love Nitro V. Nitro V and 14C are neck to neck for me. So uh, per personally, I love it. Um, it does have an aluminum backspacer and the deep carry clip is inset with flat screws and reversible. It does have steel liners tucked in there really nicely. The edges are chamfered super good. So this thing's very, very comfortable in the hand. The aluminum actually almost makes it feel maybe even slightly more comfortable. Um, I don't know if it's the Cerakote coating that's over it or what, but it, it, the edges are just so smooth. They're almost melted. I, I, I do like that. Now, they're button locks. They did have some issues in the beginning with um, spine whacking them and them failing. Um, I've tested uh, the most recent ones that I've had um, extensively and they've been fine. So I think that's something that they've worked out. I think they're doing their button locks quite a bit better. I think it was just something that they, uh, you know, that they slipped through the cracks and it happened to be a lot of them and they weren't, you know, making sure the lock face geometry was rock solid. This one is very, very solid, you know, aside from even spine whacking and just, you know, the feeling of it. I feel no movement. The button is nice and smooth. Um, I have that little tiny, tiny hint of stick, which I like to hear, like to feel. Um, and it's not like stick to where it bothers you or anything like that. It's just that little tiny bit to where you know it's a strong lockup. And that's the way I like a button lock. Um, a lot of times when they're super, super smooth, it's just a time waiting to happen until they start getting a little bit of blade rock, a little tiny bit of up and down. Um, but anyways, this one rock solid and, uh, yeah, man, I like the Raccoon. It's definitely a very recommended knife because, you know, there's so many different flavors. So for just about every type of person, but then, you know, so many different handle materials and it's just a, a workhorse, man. It's a fantastic knife. And if you really want a strong lock, get the crossbar lock one. They do a fantastic job with the crossbar lock. So there you guys go. Um, work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.